with our dear friend, Dr. Ian Smith. The doctor is in the house. So today, uh, Ian is not making house calls, but studio calls. I like that. He's here to help out three of our viewers that have kind of sort of mysterious... Why, why my body do yeah, that? Why, thing? why does this happen? Hi, Dr. Ian. So whenever I get a cold or a fever, I get those super dramatic chills and shivering where you cover yourself with three blankets. And I always think I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, so should I be concerned? First of all, very normal, and it's the body's natural reaction. Let me show you something. Give me the brain. If the you brain. Can, right? Here we go. Okay. Abby, normal. <laughs> Thank you very much. So in your brain is something called the hypothalamus. In this particular area of the brain, it, it, res it resides right in here. Uh, and the reason why the hypothalamus is important for many reasons is it sets your body, your, your set point for your temperature, what your body's temperature should be. So we have... A thermostat, basically. Have a thermostat. It's a thermostat. And it says to your body, you should be at this particular temperature. Well, what happens is when you have an infection, there are chemicals called pyrogens. And these pyrogens go to your hypothalamus, and they say to your hypothalamus, raise the set point, raise the temperature. They must know my sister. She likes it really hot. <laughs> yeah. so, that's what, so, so basically, your body typically is at 98.6. Let's say, for example, the pyrogens from the infection, from the bacteria, they come and they say, lift that set point to 100.6. Now you're two degrees off. And your body says, we got to get to the two degrees. You're feeling cold now because your set point says you should be at 100.6 and you're only at 98.6. So you feel cold. I see. So that's the, that's the chills. So you're being fooled yeah. by your own that's brain. Right. Right, that's right. right, but for a reason. And then you start feeling shivers because shivering is a way to produce heat. So your muscles contract like this very fast, and that produces heat to raise that temperature internally that's from so 98.6 to 100.6. So the shivering is your body's way to raise the temperature. Why does it want to raise the temperature? Because some bacteria cannot exist at higher temperatures. So the body's protecting itself by Absolutely. turning up the heat. Absolutely. So you have this fever. Fevers will typically go away, but sometimes you take something called an antipyretic, something to lower your temperature, things with acetaminophen in them. Completely normal, completely fine. Typically within 24 to 36 hours, you should start seeing that fever curve come down. If it doesn't, then you, be, you should be concerned. Then you got to go to the <coughs> go proper to the doctor. Docs, that's yeah. right, and say it may be something but else going on. start with just on. acetaminophen. Absolutely, fine. that's fine.